Meantime, though, the Magnificent Seven have been leading the market as of late. They are far from the only stocks on a tear. The chart master is here to lay out what is next for two well-known winners and a couple of names you might not expect. Let's bring in Carter Braxton Worth of Worth Charting. Carter, what'd you bring? Yeah, so four stocks, uh, all of which have been just tremendous uh, performers over the past two years. Uh, two consumer names, um, and we can start right here with a comparative chart. So remarkably, on a two-year basis, they are all almost identical. Lilly, call it up 200%, NVIDIA 200, Abercrombie, uh, an apparel stock, and then Decker's footwear, all up remarkably uh, similar amounts versus an S&P, of course, on a two-year basis, trailing is up 13. But let's look at them individually. One is really different than the others, and, and that's Abercrombie. This is, and you'll see there on this uh, long-term chart, this has had six or eight instances where it's dropped 75% or more, almost down to zero. And so this recent overshoot, it too will be corrected. It's not a, a long-term compounder, but the other three are, let's get to them. And so by contradistinction, if we look at the up and to the right, Decker's circumstance, it's been basically appreciating without sort of wild swings since the early 1990s. So too, of course, for NVIDIA, which has not been around as long, but it is also uh, since 99 um, uh, up and to the right. And then finally, of course, the flavor of the day, Lily, which is all the rage, and it too, uh, with some drawdowns, but unlike Abercrombie, has over time um, delivered results. Uh, and so these have been great winners over a two-year basis, which we can see, but long-term winners except for Abercrombie. But I thought, uh, since we were talking about things that are so good, we should maybe compare it to the one godlike stock, because Lilly is all the rage here. But uh, we might have a table, and this is a very sobering reality, not only for Lilly, but for almost everybody else. If you go back to 1985, um, look at the compounding effect. The S&P, 10,000, you've got 292 grand. 10,000 in Lilly, you have a million six. That's about 5x the S&P. And United Healthcare, you have almost 25 billion, making Lilly a small little speck staring down from the Empire State Building. Uh, it's just not the same thing at all. United Healthcare, godlike, unlike all others. So in the in the ranking of godlike or, or unstoppable stocks, United Health is perched on top. But is oh, United for sure. do, so, so but for, for Nvidia and Eli Lilly, do they still have momentum to the upside? They still look like good charts? They do. They're up and to the right and they're not extended or parabolic, whereas Abercrombie is literally um, parabolic. Uh, 